All right, so we bought this old golf cart here uh, and had the six bolts here. These are crown six bolts. And I bought this thing real cheap and I thought I got a great deal on it. And the owner told me that those batteries was only about a year old. To be honest, I didn't really put a lot of uh, thought into it. I took his word for it. I saw that the date on that charger right there said 2-2018. I thought, well, maybe he got confused and thought that the batteries were from 2018. Anyways, I got home, opened them up, and there was no water in any of those three fillers right there. So, thought maybe I could get lucky, put water in them, didn't change a thing. Didn't hold no charge, didn't want to go nowhere, didn't want to charge, what a nightmare. So, I pulled them out. And as you can see, I got a little bit of damage right there. That's pretty good damage. So I decided to do a 12 volt swap. These are just simple 12 volts. You can get them at Walmart. That's where these came from. It's part number 24 DC. And once you figure out the wiring diagram, they're very easy to hook up. Once they're hooked up, it worked just fine. Uh, the one thing I would probably change is these are 690 uh, marine amps. I would probably go with something with more marine amps. Uh, yeah, this was a first time deal, so I just decided to try it, see how it went. They went good. The charger that I use is the regular old Easy Go charger, power wise, and it seems to work. Um, that's how the end of it looks. Plugs in right there. Everything works. Uh, the lights do not work. I don't know if that's my fault or if they were broken before, um, but these lights up here do not come on. I believe the brake lights do. I've seen my wife drive it. I think the brake lights still come on, but yeah, super easy swap. It's just three twelves. These are uh, roughly $70 each as opposed to $130 each times six. Uh, also, you save about 270 pounds. These weigh about 40 pounds each. Those weigh about 68 pounds each. Quite heavy. Uh, so, like I said, if I was going to do it again, I would go with something higher than 690. Um, you know, I think they sell like an 835 or something like that. Um, but super easy. All you got to do. Um, this is a green from uh, the right there at the motor comes back and I did this positive to the negative that positive hooked up with the six volts that negative hooked up with the six volts and that positive all the way to this negative and then like that uh, it was super easy I did it in about 30 minutes or so seemed to work seemed to charge uh, we haven't killed it yet so plan on doing that swap Give it a try. It's a 36 volt easy go. Like right, that. Uh, something I forgot to mention uh, with these batteries. Uh, these are deep cycle. Uh, deep cycle power. You have to get deep cycle batteries. Uh, you cannot just use um, regular uh, car batteries. Uh, this is 24 DC. Uh, these are deep cycle marine an RV uh, I just that's just what we had um, so you have to get in order for this swap to work you have to have deep cycle batteries you can't just use regular car batteries uh, you probably can put them in and they'll bolt up but uh, you probably can't use them like like these so get some deep cycle batteries all right